everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online. And we are up here at the observatory, and man, does it ever have an absolutely amazing view. But we currently have a bag full of lemmings. In fact, it looks like you can't see the lemmings in our inventory anymore, but we did just collect up quite a few lemmings for Mario here. He lives up here at the observatory. Ah, oh, thank you so much, person. He lives up here at the observatory, but he has a lemming allergy, and he's been very worried about the lemmings, and he has been watching them through his television telescope, but he hasn't been able to collect them because he's so painfully allergic to them. So we've done that for him, and now Mario is going to tell us what to do with the lemmings. I'm going to say thank you, because there we go. All right, thank you so much, Angie's Night Forest with North Pearls. A beautiful name. Awesome mohawk. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, Mario. The lemmings' last stop on the march used to be in Valdel. I suggest you ride there with them and maybe do it right now before I sneeze so hard you fall off your horse. All right, and I'm very excited because we are building our reputation with Valdel, and I constantly get Valdel and Furbro confused for which one you need the higher relationship with in order to go to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. But now that I think about it, I'm actually pretty darn sure it's going to be Valdel because they're the one next to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. And I just need to spend more time up here. What are the little puffy things? I'm so curious about that. But I am pretty sure that, oh gosh, this is a really, really wiggly cliff. Uh, sorry, Rustone, I'm trying to pay attention and make sure we don't just tumble our way down. It's beautiful up here, though. Man! I think I'm going to need... Oh, easy there, easy there, Rostone. I didn't mean to go down so quickly. Sorry about that. I think I'm definitely going to need... Uh, I think everybody says to go to the Valley of Hid the Hidden Dinosaur, you need a certain type of pony. Like, you have to get... Sorry, Rostone. Sorry, sorry. I'll be more gentle. You have to get a certain type of pony in order to traverse the terrain over there. Is this the way down, Rostone? Or are we lost? Are we hopelessly lost, Rostone? I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do my best. Wow, it's beautiful over here. But yeah, I think there's like the Icelandic pony or something along those lines or some sort of horse that you have to get in order to go up into the mountains. And that's gonna be very, very interesting. All right, there we go. North Mountain, that's a really cool thing. Like as, the, as we're talking about the mountains, that name pops up. And we're gonna work our way back over to Valdel. It's just so beautiful here. And I have a bag full of lemmings. I wonder if Thistledown is just like sitting there staring at them, sharing his berries. Like when you have a toddler and you bring over like another little kid to the house and the toddler just is like, okay, I guess you can have my animal crackers. That's kind of what I pictured Thistledown doing. He's sharing his, his tiny little berries with the other lim with the lemmings. He would, he would do that because he's a very sweet bunny. All right, and we're going to jump up here. I love the names you guys suggested for Thistledown's uh, cousins, all of those cousins that run around the middle of the hill. We see the rabbits run by, and we call them Thistledown's cousins. There's so many cute names. Like, Rose, Rose Petal really sticks out. That name really stuck with me. And then let's see. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and go this way because I know this is going to take us back down. Wow. Yeah, these people definitely have a way with roses, and they definitely have a way with magic runes. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. All right, and let's wiggle our way down the mountainside. And we're going to set the lemmings free, you guys, so that they aren't going to be stuck in this little bag anymore. And they'll hopefully be able to have somewhere they can just run around and be safe and happy in. We might even do a little bit of work here in Valdel. It's looking gorgeous, by the way. I love the new textures they put over here. And I only visited it like once before they put the new textures up. But we're going to come this way. And maybe even do some work helping the villagers of Valdel out with their stable and everything else like that. So that we can increase our reputation with them. Hey, Sophie! The lemmings! Lemmings! I have waited the whole day for them. Why do you have them in your backpack? <gasps> They're all lined up! Oh my gosh! Sophie, do you have any idea how cute this is? Sophie, Sophie, it's a line of lemons. Lemons, lemons, lemmings! Oh my gosh, and those beautiful flowers we collected for Sophie are over here too. You guys, this is so awesome! Oh my goodness. All right, Sophie. Uh, the march is delayed. Are they confused? The poor little things. Maybe... Oh, Rostone. I, I should be seeing your jaw, Rostone. <laughs> Don't help. I can't move the camera. We're staring. Rose, don't I can see your eyeballs. Rose, don't help. 
<laughs> this shouldn't be so funny. Maybe you can herd them up the hill towards the snow. That's usually the way uh, that usually goes to their homes that way. All right, so we will definitely follow the lemmings up the hill towards the snow. All right. <gasps> follow the lemmings, Rosestone. Follow the lemmings. Follow the lemmings. 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 Follow. Rosestone. 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 Lemmings. Rosestone. Oh, gosh, they're so cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm just gonna... They're just... Ah! I'm in love! I'm following the lemmings. They're just... Oh, they're just little puffballs. Look at them. They're just so cute. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever done. Don't step on the lemmings, sweetie. Oh, gosh. <laughs> please, please. I'm so nervous. I'm following lemmings. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Following lemmings. Now. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die. They're just so adorable. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so following wherever these little guys are headed. They are so cute. That quest sticks are right. Yep, that's okay. Because that means I get to follow these little furry rumps. It's just so cute. I get to just stare at these little furry rumps and trot along with them. No, oh gosh. In panic, it just feels like, no, don't go under the horses, little guys. Ah, oh, jeez. It's amazing how they seem to dodge the hooves every time. They're just so adorable. Oh my goodness. Look, now there's three little rumps. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, okay. This is going to go down as one of the best things I have done. Oh my gosh, and they just walk through Kitten Storm's horse. All right, easy peasy, little guys. Hey, you just they're just going to go right through that rock. Okay, that's fine. And out the other side. <gasps> they're so adorable. All right, and we're just going to we're going to just trot after these tiny little furry rumps and I am just the happiest saga in the entire world. Look at me go. We're just going to be nice and patient. Yeah, this is too cute, you guys. So, I don't know what is up with the lemmings. I don't know if we're ever going to learn what happened. And why they got so confused. And I'm so glad we're away from all the people. So I'm not like, ah, they're going to get stepped on. I know nothing would really happen if they got stepped on. But still, wow, the view from up here on that waterfall. Wow, it's pretty here. Thistledown, did they eat too many of your berries? You're not too sad, are you? We'll go back to Silverglade soon so you can refill on berries, Thistledown. Don't you worry. All right, so we're just going to follow the livings up the hill, you guys. I have no idea how long it's going to take. I feel kind of like a big mama lemming. Like, do I need to look out for foxes and, 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 and eagles or things like that? Or do I just need to be an impartial biologist observer and step back and just let the cycle of life take the lemmings wherever it may? All right. Gently, gently, little lemmings, you're so cute. Little lemmings, you're so cute. March, march, march. They need a marching song. Maybe that would help the lemmings out. I wonder if one of you guys would end up... If one of you end up typing up, like, a lemming marching song in the comments, I think, no, okay, they're away from the hooves again. I think I would just laugh my head off and not even be able to handle it, because they're so cute. They're so cute. I have to tell Sienna. <laughs> they are so cute. I'm gonna die. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, I love her sunflowers, too. I still need to look up where those sunflowers come from. I don't know if Rose Stone is particularly a sunflower kind of girl, but we could go put the sunflowers on Melody Warrior, actually. In fact, we should take some of our extra gear and go dress up the horses that are inside of our stable, shouldn't we? I, I mean, maybe not, like, the actual tack, because it's never a good idea. No, Sienna, don't step on him. It's never a good idea. Move, little lemmings. Oh. Okay, they're all right. Do you leave the tack on the horses like when they're actually in the barn? Do you leave a blanket on sometimes? I myself do not ride horses, do not own horses. I've, I've actually never really been anywhere where I could ride horses, so I've only- Oh, it's snowing! No wonder! It's so pretty! I've only ridden a horse twice. Well, I think I've only ridden a horse properly once, and that was through the mountains, through daffodil fields. It was beautiful. And then I sat on a horse one other time, and I don't think that counts since riding a horse. I just sat on him and then got off. It was my cousin's horse. All right, little ones, there you go. Are you off into the, the wilderness now? Oh, little ones, that's a, that's a star. Can I get that somehow? All right, conditions fulfilled. Can I climb over there? Can I, can I get off and get that star? Um, I want to see... 
All right, so those conditions have been fulfilled. So now we're gonna ride down much, much faster to Linda. Not Linda, what am I thinking? Oh, <gasps> you guys, look, I got a star. Cool. Wait, hello? There we go. Dun, 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 dun. I have found one of the stars. Oh my gosh, this is one of the most beautiful spots I've ever been in. Wow. Okay, no, for crying out loud. Saga, for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I fell off. Alright, there we go. Alright, and now I need to get back through. Treat, treat, out of my way, treat. Alright, there we go. And there. Alright, so let us let Sophie know. I like Sophie because she preserved all of those rare flowers around the track. And she likes lemmings. Let us let Sophie know that the lemmings have been taken care of. I am so pleased. I'm just, that was... I'm, I'm never going to forget that, you guys. I'm always going to remember, slowly but surely, following the little limbing rumps as they climb up the side of the mountain into the snowy abyss. And a little Thistledown, who was kind of pouting a wee bit because he ended up... <laughs> He ended up having to share his berries with a bunch of hungry lemmings. But you know what? Maybe they were confused and cold and they just kind of needed a minute to warm up in the backpack and share berries with Thistledown. And I bet that made them feel quite a bit better. So let's ride over here. I'm very proud of you, Thistledown. It takes a big bunny to be able to share all those berries that you love. And let's see what Sophie has to say. So down we go, Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Did it work? Are they on the right track now? So good that you could help them. No one knows how long we've been standing here waiting for them. I hope they will be on the right track next year. All right. March is delayed complete. Is that all we had to do for the lemmings? Please, can I have more lemmings? <laughs> May I please have more lemmings? I really want more lemmings. I think that's all we had to do. For the lemmings, my friend. So it looks like we have a quest with Linda, a quest with Ed, a quest with Mandy, James, Penny, interesting, Penny, and the security guy over in Fort Pinta. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go on that horribly difficult <laughs> race, the Hollow Woods race that I am not good at. And we're going to try it out because every little bit of reputation we can build up with Valdel is going to be a good thing. So we'll go ahead and go on this race. We'll see if I have improved at all since the last time we went on it. Sometimes it's faster to jump. Sometimes it's faster just to avoid the jumps. And I'm trying to figure out the good balance between that. All right, we've got this. We've got this rose stone. And carefully through the picnic tables. I think Thistledown actually gets excited during the races. Like I could just imagine his little ears perking up. And he kind of holds on to the side of the saddlebag and he's just riding along with it. All right, this one, have to jump. Oh, there we go. You've got this. Wow, look, it's the horse that looks like Fire Lord. And I did promise, oh gosh, where are we going? Careful, Rose Stone, we went too fast. Ah, we're gonna start over. Okay, I've got to slow down a little bit because sometimes I get ahead of myself when I don't know the race yet, the track yet. And don't manage to run it just right. All right, we'll do it better this time. But I did promise that we would swap out our horses every now and then when we did some of the magic related quests with Linda. So we will get Amethyst missed out because I know she is a popular favorite. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about Fire Lord. But anything that has to do with magic, then we'll get Amethyst missed out because I think she just has a natural affinity to it and Rose Stone doesn't mind the races and she doesn't mind doing all of the like helpful quests and going on treasure hunts with us but I don't think I think she gets like finicky around the magic stuff I think it makes her a little bit fussy like she doesn't really want to be involved in that kind of nonsense all right there we go I gotta slow down for just a second so I can see where we're going like I could imagine it would it would startle her all right and then we'll go this way and jump there. And jump, 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 jump! <laughs> Rosestone! Rosestone, if you're not gonna make this one, then we're just not gonna complete this race because this race is so hard. I'm just not very good at it yet. Ah, Rosestone, help! No, Rosestone, slow down! Rosestone, no, Rosestone, Rosestone! Oh gosh. This is painful. I can only imagine how painful for all of you talented star stable people this is to watch. Alright, come on, Rosestone. A little bit more of a jump. Thank you. All right, there we go. Another little jump and another another set of jumps coming up. There's that one, there's that one. She's doing better at her jumps too. She's doing them more frequently now. 
All right, and then we need to do this one and then slow down. I can't see where this one's going. This one. Oh no. <laughs> We've messed it up again with stone. Why must it be so painful? <laughs> there. Oh, almost there. Come on. But yeah, there's a lot of magic horses out today because there's a winter forest with her horse. And so it does make me want to get Amethyst Mist out. So I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up here in Valdel with this race. And then we'll head over to our stables. We'll have to go to the home stables, which will be over in the vineyard. And we will swap out for Amethyst Mist. I just imagine she makes like a lot of the, the horses and the people who have to deal with magic. That was... It's a new personal best of 2 minutes and 30 seconds, you guys. It's still extremely a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosdone. We'll try to get better at this. There we go. And it helps her out, at least. And it gave us a huge boost for Valdel. That's kind of, like, why we did it more than anything. 100 points to Valdel's favor is a pretty big deal when I need to really build my reputation with them. In fact, we're going to do the stable chores super fast. I know a lot of you guys really hate it when we do stable chores, but we're going to do them really quickly because it is going to help us with building up what we need. Hello, Claire! With building up the reputation here. No, I don't want to I don't want to sleep here. I messed up, Claire. I totally messed up. I meant to go over to the notice board. That's what I wanted. Wow, what a cool horse. All right, let's fill up with water. And yeah, then we'll go back to our vineyard home. I, I'm still deciding whether or not I've forgiven the Baroness for her lies or not. <laughs> but we'll go back over to the vineyard and we will go ahead and get Amethyst Mist, our horse Amethyst Mist out. All right, we're, we'll take care of this. Got it. See, this takes so much less time than running the race, but at least with the races, we get a nice little experience boost for Rose Stone. Am I stuck? There we go. All right, so snagged that. Wait, do I already have a shovel? <laughs> Somehow I picked up a shovel. I picked up two shovels. That's kind of funny. And then we'll grab the hay for the horses. And yes, I have not forgotten about the pony post, you guys. I just have not had time to work on pony post. But that's definitely something I think we're going to do again because I love the idea of you guys... Caring is only... Uh, that's okay. There we go. Because I love the idea of being able to ask you guys really fun Star Stable related questions and then seeing what your guys' answers are going to be. Like, how did you feel about the living quest? I would love to ask you guys about that or how you've not done it yet. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. I'm not trying to care for these horses like in that way. I'm just trying to... There we go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that alert. All right. And we'll scoop this. And then that'll get us a little bit closer. Hello, person! I, I hope you don't mind that your horse just walked through some muck, but I cleaned it up, don't worry. All right, and there we go. Wonderful, there we go. All right, and we'll wrap this up. And then head back home. There we go. Oh, Mucking you. done. And let's see what our reputation is with Valdel now. All right, our reputation level with Valdel, Hermit, South Hoof, Bobcats. Wolf Hall Inn, AAE, which is really exciting. Astronomical and Archaeological Society. I would love to be part of that. Valdel, we are friendly right now. So I think what we have to aim for is probably at least liked or popular. <laughs> so we'll come over and we'll try to run lots of races and do lots of work over here because I really, really, really want to see what's behind the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Hello! It's very nice to see you. All right. So let's see. We need to head over to the horse trailer. And Misty Butterflies, what a cool name that is too. And then actually we don't need to head over to the horse trailer. What am I doing? We just need to call for a pickup. <laughs> I'm getting used to the horse trailers though. They make life so much easier just to be able to teleport everywhere. All right, and here we are you guys. Time to go inside. There's another North Pearls. That's another person with North Pearls. <sighs> and let's go see how Amethyst Mist is doing. And then we'll even see if we can dress her up and what we should dress her up in. Um, wow, we've gotten a lot of stuff since we were last in here. Hey, Melanie Warrior. Hey, Amethyst Mist. All right. And let's go ahead and jump off Rose Stone. This is going to be really hard on me. <laughs> Rose Stone, this is going to be so hard. It's just for a little while, I promise. <laughs> this is this is actually super hard for me to say bye to Rose Stone for a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, Rose Stone. I'm going to I'm going to take Thistle down with me too. 
And you're going to rest here just for a little bit, like a day or two. And then we will be back here with you later. And then I am going to see if I can get Amethyst Mist feeling in a better mood. Apparently, if you send them to... Like, if you send your horses or range horses or, like, my horses, something about, like, being able to send them to the oh. island. So I guess I don't have enough horses to be able to send them to the island and get that boost. But we will get Amethyst Mist feeling a little bit better <laughs> and take care of her and the others. And then I will see you guys next time when we will go and we will see what's up with Linda. So, actually, let's go ahead... We're going to get on Amethyst Mist, and we're going to go ahead and deck her out. So let's get her dressed up. There's the socks. Does she want the hat? How do you feel about the hat, Amethyst Mist? I don't see it on you at all. So maybe I need to get her out of here first. Pitch black saddle bag. Let's see. There's the saddle. And then there's her bridle. She's looking good. All right. So we'll get her out of here and we'll see if she wants to wear the little flower crown. If not, that's fine because she is an absolutely gorgeous purple pony. And there she is. She's changed color. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.